Today, I'm going to present to you a short video which shows you how to put on and take off personal protective equipment for your safety and the safety of the people that you're looking after. Go to the toilet, make sure you're well hydrated, make sure that you've removed all jewellery, your lanyard, no false nails, nail varnish, completely clear hands. Application of the personal protective equipment is called donning, so the arms in the word, and the taking off of the personal protective equipment is called doffing, and the offs in the word. Ideally, this should be done at the sink with soap and water, but this won't always be available to you. And for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use hand sanitizer, and that we do this for 20 to 30 seconds. So plenty of sanitizer and start off just rubbing your hands palm to palm. Make sure you do the back of the hand from the wrist to the fingertips. The thumbs are really, really important. Between the fingers, right down into the crevices and into the crevices of the thumb as well. Mustn't forget the nails because they can harbour lots of germs and it's a really good idea in this environment that you keep your nails nice and short. Fingers to palms wrists and then arms front and back up to forearms because you need to be bare from the elbow down okay so the first thing that you're going to put on is your apron you need to open it right down to the bottom don't be putting it on over your head and having it stuck together around your body so make sure it's nice and free over the head get the ties not too tight because you don't want to be constrained but it wants to be secure so there you go, that's your apron on. Smooth it down over your uniform. Make sure that you're comfortable, that you're straight and you're well covered. So you may have a mask like this, or you may have a mask that has elasticated sides. If you've got a mask like mine with the strings, you need to take the bottom strings first and you need to tie them into the nape of your neck. Again, nice and secure, but not too tight that you're gonna choke, because you might have this on for some time. If you're a glasses wearer, this is the point where you remove your glasses and put them onto a clean surface. Pull the mask up over your face and tie the other strings. You need to take two fingers, place them at either side of your nose, find the metal strip and press it down to make a snug fitting and the same with the chin area. That's why the pleats are in so it can fit snugly underneath your chin and it should feel quite secure. At this point, if you're a glasses wearer, you would put your glasses back on. Some of the goggles are single use, so always check that. Take the goggles by the arms and you lift them onto your head and slip them over your ears. If you're a glasses wearer, they go over the top of the glasses. It's really important that you use a glove that is a good size so you can get them nice and comfortable around your wrists. I always do the dominant hand first with your right hand, put the right one on first. We're going to talk about taking most of your equipment off in the resident patient's room and then some of it off outside of the room. There's going to be a lot of hand washing in this so you need to be prepared to do this really carefully because this is the bit that keeps you safe. So the most contaminated thing that you've got at the moment is your gloves. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your dominant hand and you're going to remove the other glove. Take it by the palm of the hand and pull it off and then grab it in the hand of the other glove. Take two fingers from the other hand, slip them down the glove, pull them and they're safe now. And you put them into a clinical waste bag inside the patient's room. You then wash your hands. So the next most contaminated thing on your body at this moment in time is your apron. So you put your hands behind your head and snap it. It will really come off very simply and just let it fall down to your waist. Then you snap the back and fold the apron in on itself. So you're not touching any of the outer of the apron and you're rolling it up. You dispose of that in your clinical waste and despite the fact that your hands have been clean because you washed them before, you now wash your hands again. The next thing you're going to remove is your goggles. 
So remember, if you're wearing disposable goggles or a disposable visor, then you need to remove that in the patient's room and dispose of it in your clinical waste bag. My goggles are reusable, so I'm now leaving the patient's room. I'm going outside and I'm going to remove my goggles. I'm going to raise my hands, clasp the sides of the goggles, close my eyes, lean forward slightly and remove the goggles. I'll then place them on a white clean surface to be cleaned later. I will also, in my glasses wearer, remove my glasses in the same way. hands are clean but you don't want to touch the outside of the mask because that is contaminated. Go to the back of the mask and untie the bottom of the mask. Keep hold of those two bottom ties and go to the top and undo the top holding those ties too. Grasp the mask with some tension and dispose of it in your clinical waste. At this point, you need to go back to your white clean surface, take your goggles, which are reusable, clean them with the Clinel wipe, and put them back in your stock to be used next time. You would also clean your glasses in that way if you were a glasses wearer. You then go back to the hand washing station and wash your hands again, or use the sanitizer again in the same way. And that is the end of the donning and doffing.